beautiful freezing day, North Carolina. We're about to do the ultimate test. For all of you diesel truck guys out there that watch my videos, you guys are probably gonna appreciate this video. We got keys to the old 7.3 here. Big hot shot guy, big dually guy, big flatbed guy. I don't think you guys have seen this. All right, <laughs> dude, hear me out. God, I just showed the, the front of it. Hear me out. It's not gonna look like this forever, okay? <laughs> dude, it just looks so ridiculous. All right, I just gotta show you guys and we'll talk about it. Yes, 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 dude, I'm freaking dead. Oh my God. Look at that. All right, so right here we got my 90, uh, 2000 maybe, 2000, I don't think it's 99. 2000 F450 single cab with a work bed dually on 24 inch Freightliner Classics. Uh, no lift kit on this. The 450 right here, this is the horse and carriage of all trucks. This is the break your back. I broke my back. The spinal. That you broke my back, back is broken. What, a, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. This thing right here is no joke. Look at the leaves in the back. Look at this. This is going to make your backs hurt. Dude. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. I got, I just got this bad boy back from uh, NCB Diesel and Off-Road. They work on all of my trucks. Obviously have all of the trucks here for uh, storm work stuff, put guys in trucks, and it's also good to just have trucks. Right now my 2019 F450's in the shop. Balancer was all wobbly, needed brakes, so Matt and the guys over at NCB Diesel are getting me taken care of there. This thing just got back from them. It got brakes all around. They changed the rear gear in it. They uh, replaced a bunch of seals, pretty much rebuilt the whole rear end because when we're out there, if we're out in Louisiana, if we're down in Florida, if we're up in Connecticut, I don't want to be having any issues with the truck. So this right here, got a smoking deal on this 170,000 mile 7.3 interior, super clean. The only issue I have with it is the wiring to the work bed. Now my boys, Travis and David, they went over it, but the wiring to the work bed is not good. I think this thing was definitely a tow truck at one point in time. And whenever they took the, the bed off, that was like the, they had the, the whole, I don't know, I'm a hot shot guy. I'm not a tow truck guy. So I don't know. I had the boom and, and all that good stuff. They slapped this on there and they just cut the wiring harness right at the back of the cab. And it's not nice after that. So anyone that's a master technician of 73 Ford wiring for tow trucks or whatever, I can't get my brake lights to work. So <laughs> everyone knows the 73. It is the million mile motor. Will it start up is the question. These things are known not to start once they get clapped out. I don't think we're at the clapped out stage yet. 172,494 miles. I'm gonna let the glow plug heat up twice, you know, just for, for good measure. I'm really trying not to embarrass old girl today. It's got the stacks. It's about to get a wrap from Nasty Wraps. It needs a little bit of love from Shannon. All right, let's see if, let's see. No, I'll, I'll guess at the camera over here. Let's see if the sucker fires up, bro. You guys are gonna love the sound of this. America. If this truck don't make you want to eat like a Whopper or a Big Mac, I don't know what does. I got a complete front end conversion for it. I got to go and get center caps today for the wheels. Just had everything redone on it. 
The truck drives amazing. It had like a 480 gear in it, would not go over 60 miles an hour. It was just like tacked out. Put the bigger tires on it, switch over to 373. You could ride this sucker at like 85, no problems, like 2200 RPMs. This thing is absolutely badass, ready to hit the road. Plus, I think it looks good. These might be my favorite set of 24s I got, the Freightliner Classics. They look sick. Uh, I mean, they really do. They just look, I think they look amazing. Um, 35, 12, 50, 24s. That is the tire size I run on all my trucks. Get the 12 ply tires. They actually ride pretty good. I got no complaints. I love the look. I love the way they ride. The tires that I get are not too expensive, but any of the dually stuff, it's uh, it's pretty expensive. This thing, came, this truck came with an external fuel tank on there. The interior, super clean. I mean, just a very clean interior. Needs a headliner. That's that's really it. Oh my god. I am never gonna financially recover from this. Radio bumps, dude. Bumping radio. I got zero complaints. This is like my new hotshot truck, dude. This is like, this is hotshot John all day. Work bed, gotta love it. Set up for fifth wheel and gooseneck. This thing rock and rolls, dude. This is it, my new truck. I traded up, I went from my 2019 450 Platinum to this. Look, here's the thing. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. God, I love this thing. Anyone out there that's like a big diesel guy or really like Ford fan, 170,000 mile 7.3 truck, that's mint right there. That is mint. That is mint. So just I wanted to show you guys a quick little video. I'm kind of proud of this thing. Once we get it wrapped, it's going to be absolutely sick. Uh, Chris and Jose and the guys over at Nasty Wraps, they're going to get this thing all taken care of, get some tint on there. We're going to paint the windows. We're going to wrap it a sick color. Uh, David and I, I got uh, 2019 or like the 67 style mirrors for it, just like on my truck. And then I got a 60 conversion for the front end with the whole Harley Davidson front end conversion kit. So I, I think it's going to be absolutely sick. I'm contemplating putting a little visor on the window like that, you know, to be like a, a real to channel, my inner truck driver. Uh, but I got to remember, you know, like that one's got the visor up there. That bitch is bad. This one, it might need it just because I don't know. I really got to, if I don't know, being a hotshot guy, if I could really channel my inner trucker. So there's, there's this cop that's been sitting there across the street from me. I hope she don't look, but she's been watching me talk to this camera the whole time. Yep. Yep. She caught me. She caught me. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, I'm going to end this video now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, just a quick little video. Wanted to get something out to you today. I'm running around. I'm going up to TCAM. We're going to Bissett Performance. We're checking on the Blizzard. We're picking up some motors. And I have a new vehicle being purchased coming to the channel. So if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, you guys have to do that. If you guys have not gone over to ellisnasty.com and checked out our new merchandise, you guys have to do that. We got Small Tire Outlaws merchandise on the website. We're rocking and rolling. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload.